I have lost all sense of right or wrong. I am nothing but a husk of a man. But have no fear, every pony. We're all gonna make it. Tales of Equestria is a tabletop role-playing game by River Horse Studios and takes place in the magical world of Equestria, where you and your friends will take the role of Earth Ponies, Pegasi, and Unicorns going on magical adventures. Weird factoid about this game, River Horse Studios is actually owned by Alessio Cavatore, probably best known as the One Man Army for designing Warhammer, Warhammer 40k and Lord of the Rings strategy games from Games Workshop back in the early 2000s. An absolute beast of a man was also responsible for writing more time in Kings of War, not to mention being fundamental to bolt action. I just thought that was kind of funny, but this is Tales of Equestria, but what is it? The actual pony lore is quite extensive, but I'll do a little bit of curation. A long time ago, there was a race war. The ponies solved this by declaring holy war against being mean, leading to their god empress to take over the reins of the sole authority of all the land due to her superior genetic form, and this takes place primarily during the fourth generation of My Little Pony, collectively known as the Friendship is Magic era, and the one you probably all know about. From my legal exports on pony lore, Generation 5, the Tron era, does not exist. But what is this game? Because outside of Jar Enthusiasm, Tales of Equestria is actually a game made for children. This is quite an important facet of the rest of this video, as it isn't going to be a game for manly men playing manly games. This is designed for children who want to play a game with cartoon horses involved, but don't let that change your opinion drastically. At its core, it's a dice ladder system, with the pony selecting to be a strong or brainy pony in their three stats of body, mind, and charm. Strong ponies get a bump to body, brainy ponies get a bump to mind, and of course you have the three races, horse, fly horse, and a magic horse, each with their own special talents. Talents are really the heart of Tales of Equestria, allowing the ponies to express themselves easier, as it's on the ladder as well to their role. Can you play any of the other races? No. Why would you ever want to play one of those degenerate freaks of nature? Isn't that right, Arian? The final core facet of the game of is pony stamina. A pony stamina indicates how long they can express themselves and do things, and everything is going to be taking away or draining stamina. March across Equestria, stamina loss. Lose a debate, stamina loss. Get stabbed, stamina loss. Have your limbs torn off and forced to eat sushi rolls to get them back. It's going to be a little bit of stamina loss. Now, there is one little aspect, which is tokens of friendship. These act as part meta currency, part power source, part holy energy of Pony Christ. You build tokens of friendship by being friendly and making friends. Friendship is magic, you see. The simplest use of these is changing die results. One allows you to re-roll, two allows you to roll a d20 instead, and three of these allow you to instantly succeed at challenges. Ponies can also change the story slightly with these, but mixing them together with your friends results in the best result. Remember, friendship is magic, and you need a friend max if you want to get these damn things. And that's pretty much the extent of the game. This isn't a complicated game by any stretch of the imagination. Most of the talents and traits either just add a die or allow upgrading a die. Even scuffles are little more than opposed roles beating one another up. Not quite Golden Sky Story is tier, but we're getting there. But remember, this is a game for children. And does it succeed at being a good introduction to tabletop RPGs? Yeah, I think so. Encourages proper amount of friendship, magic, and but still with enough stuff going on to make it work. Especially if the GM is willing to accommodate what the players are actually looking for. There is also also a funny dice chart in the back, which is the funniest thing imaginable, which is also appropriate. My name is NoPony, and this was Tales of Equestria. If you like what I do here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And many thanks to the bankers of Canterlot for keeping this entire thing funded. Now, everypony, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.